In an extraordinary turn of events, rescue teams have found all 12 boys and their soccer coach alive in a cave in Thailand nine long days after they went missing. The boys, aged between 11 and 16 years old, are all members of a Thai soccer team who entered the cave on June 23 for a team outing. They became stranded in the dark tunnels after a sudden and continuous downpour blocked all exits. The international rescue operation includes the Thai Navy SEALs, as well as experts from the US, China, Australia and the UK. Today, the mission came to an end after they discovered the team in a large, deep chamber where they believe the missing boys had taken refuge. From the latest report from the SEAL unit who went in and passed the junction to a moment ago, they managed to reach Pattaya Beach, which is apparently flooded. Then they went about 300 to 400 metres further to another high ground. There is where we found that our younger brothers are safe. Now, James Longman is on the ground with the details. It's a massive scrum. Journalists from around the world have come to congregate. The volunteers, uh, the rescuers all went up with uh, screams of joy when they heard because this really wasn't expected to happen quite so soon. Uh, we understand that they've been found in a cave about two miles in. They are weak, but they are alive. Uh, so what uh, rescuers have decided to do is uh, send in a medic. So one medic has stayed in there. He's, gonna, he's swum inside that drier cave. He's sitting with the group as we speak making sure that they're okay, giving them the nourishment that they need. And then tomorrow, the process of getting them out will begin. And providing technology to this rescue effort, Israeli company Maxtech Networks. Tom Gillard from Maxtech Networks joins me in studio now. Now, Tom, it was your colleague who was actually sent to Pattaya Beach to help with the rescue mission. How did Maxtech Networks become involved? Well, Tracy, a number of days ago when this thing began unfolding, uh, a company we work with locally reached out to our uh, CEO and explained the situation. He said there's a bunch of caves and underground network of tunnels. There's no communication that they, they could really use our technology. So our CEO took it upon himself to decide we're going to get involved. We rounded up all the radios we had around the office and we sent one of our engineers and within 12 hours one of our uh, network engineers had to uh, become a rescue operations wow. specialist. And what technology does your company provide? So our company along with some patented uh, technology and algorithms utilizes something called mesh technology. Without getting too technical what it does <laughs> in situations like this where you have no infrastructure, no base stations, no antennas, no external GPS's, our technology allows you to create a virtual infrastructure with a network that's self-forming, self-healing and self-configuring. So how, how was it used in this particular Mission. Well, this particular mission uh, presents a number of challenges in the radio world. Um, the same way you can take your phone underground and you won't have your Wi-Fi or cellular service, traditional radio systems in enclosed environments like this often don't work. Uh, the signal can bounce from wall to wall and interfere with each other. Uh, one of the products we've developed without getting too technical mm -hmm. again uh, thrives in these types of situations in particular, especially underground. Now it's been used to help rescue 12 boys and their soccer coach. How big of an achievement is this for MacTech? Uh, I mean, you know, that, that's a great question. By what metric do you measure the life of another human being, yet alone a child or 12 of them? Mm -hmm. um, I think this is huge for everyone, not just Max Tech. Uh, I think we're just grateful that everyone was able to do their jobs and we're very happy to be just part of the solution. Absolutely incredible. Tom Gillard.